I got parts. Let me correct myself. I have a lot of parts. Lots and lots of parts. And no, these aren't for the Duramax. No, these aren't for the BMW. These are all for one machine. Unfortunately. It's for this disaster. Things move a lot easier when they don't have flat tires. As you guys know, the guy who had this before me just basically had the initiative to do his own customization and his own fabricating and stuff like that, but the only thing is, is he didn't do a very good job. So now it's my duty to go ahead and fix his mistakes. So I just went ahead and bought all new brake line for this machine. Luckily it's only a 2002 I believe, so parts aren't that expensive, but they still add up. Especially when you have such a heap as this. So here is the front. You have your supply and then it splits. The BMW has the same setup in the rear, but this is the front. And then this is for the back brakes. on a mission from God. Thank you Fat Lee for the ratcheting wrenches. They're coming in handy. So as you guys can see this radiator isn't that clean. Now if I show you the back side I'll show you why it's not cooling down properly. Maintenance is key especially if you want stuff to work right. So as you can see this radiator is pretty clogged. So I'm definitely going to wash this before I go ahead and reinstall it. Also this fan is hardwired to always run. See some makeshift electrical tape here, and it runs right to the back. That's no good. It's supposed to run off the thermostat. Now that I got some room here, I can finally install the new brake lines. caliper. Well the caliper that was on the rear. It's actually the front caliper. They welded it instead of bolting it on because it wasn't made to be bolted on. So now I have this bolt threaded and welded onto its bracket. I might be able to cut off this crap weld and maybe back out this bolt. Not quite sure. But what I am sure is we're making awesome progress on the braking system. I'm just gonna build up a list, go to the shop, get it all taken care of. Progress is coming along just dandy. system and how this works is quite simple it's just like a snowmobile clutch as you drive this is spun by your engine and as your rpms increase 
what happens is this clutch pushes together and this and this secondary clutch falls apart so what it basically does is it reverses the gear ratio so right now it's going to spin slowly and you're not going to go very fast okay because you're going from small to big but once you increase rpm this becomes big and this becomes small so you are reversing the gear ratio with these systems and that's why you don't need gears or anything like that because it's just automatic the clutch surfaces themselves are very very clean just a mouse got in there and made a nest behind here This is one way to start the vlog. I have to go tow my sister out of, she's stuck. I'm not there yet, so I don't have all the details, but once I do get there, I will keep you guys in the loop for sure. Why would you pull all the way down there? What the heck is she doing? Now she's gonna burn up her tranny because she wants to go back and forth. Ah. That's, what, that's how you go through a tranny, going back and forth, back and forth. Don't do that, folks. What, what the hell happened to my truck? Apart for it. So he tipped it over? And for future reference, this isn't a truck. It's oh. not a truck. And <laughs> second of all, once you get stuck, don't be going back and forth because then you'll go through your transmission and then that'll be no good. I kept rocking it out of it and then I got up there and I was like, I'm not going to make it up there. So I turned around and then it came here and then it didn't grab. So I went back forward, back forward. Yeah. You're freaking buried. <laughs> I know. All for a dog, all for Prince. So Prince can go for a walk. Prince, you're spoiled. Did you hear me? You're a spoiled dog. Okay, somewhere, somewhere down there, there'll be something to hook up to. See that oh, beam yeah? right there? Yeah, until you go, freaking rip around my whole axle. No, I won't. Come on, wrap around that. I think we found something. Yeah, wrap right around that sucker. Here, turn your car off so I can reach my hand in there. Put it in that same spot and I'm gonna grab it from you. Uh, and I'm putting it back down. Now hook that chain up. Is it good? She says her hands are freezing. Maybe she'll learn. Yep, yep. Hook it up to my front. I'm gonna pull up. What we do for pets, folks. What you do for your family. There's two big hooks on the front of this truck. You got it hooked up? No, my hands are too cold to move. Right there. Get high. Start it up. We did it. You know that cold feeling in your hands? Yeah. That's how you get hypothermia. That, you know what that feeling is? Stupidness? The feeling of learning. <laughs> All right, throw that tree in your car. I'll meet you at home. Putting the band back together. Okay. Away. We're on a mission from God.